With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone. Let us solve this question. The question says a bar magnet of magnetic moment M1 is actually cut into two equal parts. If these two parts are arranged perpendicular to each other, then the resultant magnetic moment is M2. And now we have to find the value of M1 divided by M2. Now in this question, we have given a bar magnet of magnetic moment M1. Now let us say this is the bar magnet of magnetic moment M1. Now let us suppose there is a pole north pole and this is the south pole and the magnetic pole strength of the pole is small m. Now this magnetic this magnet is cut in two equal parts about its axis. Now this means this is cut through this line. So it will convert into two bar magnets of same length but having different magnetic moment or the different pole strength. Now the magnetic pole strength will be equal to m by 2 and here also m by 2. But the length of both the magnet will remain same. Now let us consider the length of this magnet is L. So the length of both these magnet will also be L. Now the new magnetic moment. Now let us consider the magnetic moment of the of one magnet or the half magnet is m dash and it will be equal to m by 2 into l so this will be ml by 2 but initially the magnetic moment is equal to pole strength into length this is ml but the m dash will be equal to m by 2 this is the new value of magnetic moment for a single bar magnet now in this question we have given that these two bar magnets are connected or are placed perpendicular to each other now let us draw the diagram for this so this is the first bar magnet and an another bar magnet is placed perpendicular to it this is the perpendicular bar magnet Now this will have some magnetic moment. Now let us consider this is north pole and this is south pole and it will have the magnetic moment of m by 2 and this will also have the magnetic moment of m by 2. Now we know that the magnetic moments are vector quantity. So the net magnetic moment for this system will be equal to like m2 which is given as m2 in the question it will be equal to m by 2 whole square plus m by 2 whole square plus 2 m by 2 into m by 2 cos theta and here the theta is 90 degree since these both the magnets are perpendicular to each other so this will be cos 90 now we know that the value of cos 90 is 0 so this term will be 0 now m2 will be equal to m square by 4 so it is capital m square by 4 m square by 4 under root so this will be equal to m by root 2 now m2 is equal to m by 2 m by root 2 and we know that m1 is equal to m so m1 by m2 will be equal to 1 by root 2 and in this question we have to find the value of m1 divided by m2 so the option c which says the m1 divided by m2 is 1 by root 2 is the correct answer for this question for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today